I need, I need something to cook. I want something pretty good. I don't know. What do you think I should cook? I want some lasagna. Some who? Lasagna. All right, let me see if I can whip up something like that. Hey, what up, what up, what up, though, y'all? Look, so check this out on today's episode of Cooking at the Motherfucking Crib. I got a motherfucking special treat for y'all. We about to make some motherfucking lasagna. And with that being said, I'm gonna break it down into three easy motherfucking steps. First step, prep your motherfucking noodles. You don't wanna overcook them. Then you wanna prep your motherfucking hamburgers. The third step, we gonna layer that motherfucking, put it in the oven and bake for a short amount of time, get our appetite ready to go. But in the meantime, I'm gonna break it down and show y'all the easy way to do it. Stay tuned in, y'all. Enjoy the ride. Okay, so first things first, after we fried our motherfucking ground beef or your motherfucking ground turkey, you're gonna add in some motherfucking spinach or some motherfucking tomatoes. It's all up to you and some onions, you know, maybe some red peppers as well, but it's something we missed. I'm gonna pass it over to the homie Big Dog Mark. All right, y'all, so check this out, honestly, guys. So with that being said, after you brown your motherfucking ground turkey or your ground beef, make sure you add in some motherfucking tomato sauce. It's all up to your preference of what you like, but your house don't like it's all good. I'm also adding some motherfucking diced tomatoes in mine because I want it to be hearty and full, right? I think it's gonna last a couple of days as well. So you mix that in after you brown it up. Continue to let it simmer. But the most important thing about this motherfucking design is your motherfucking ricotta cheese mix. Now, this is super easy. Get you some motherfucking ricotta cheese. Get you some motherfucking Italian cheese, right? Put that in there just like that, right? Get you some motherfucking spinach. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if you don't like spinach, you don't gotta add that spinach in there, but I like it because I can give you a motherfucking power up, you know, give you some shrimp that you need, you know? So that's also cool, but it's not necessary. So one of the most important things with your motherfucking ricotta cheese sauce is the motherfucking egg. The egg helps bind in the flavor. It locks it in and it gives it a really good consistency to be able to mix it. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna bake this for a couple of minutes or whatever, about 45 to an hour for real, and mix it all in layers. So stay tuned again, we got that process coming up next year. All right, thanks, Big Dog Mar. So now that we added those extra ingredients, I'm gonna add in some motherfucking Italian cheese. You know, it has some Parmesan in there, some mozzarella, and another couple of cheeses. My noodles are prepped. They pretty much ready to go. And I got my ricotta cheese mixture. Oh yeah, this motherfucker looks so good. Look, that's really important. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add the first layer to the motherfucking lasagna. So I coat the bottom of the pan with some motherfucking, you know, the ground beef and the tomato mixture because I don't want to use the noodles first. That way the noodles won't stick to the pan, all right? So this is how you know when your motherfucking noodles are done. You see the way they all lump like that and the way they lay so easily? You don't want them all the way cooked because once we bake these motherfuckers, we don't want them to be too crunchy or too firm while we eat them. We want to be able to have a good blend of motherfucking flavors, all right? So you can layer them however you want to do it, but make sure you cover up that whole surface layer like that. Now, it's time to add the next layer. Now, you can take ricotta cheese, Right. Or you could have put another layer of meat. It's really no fucking step. The way you do it, just make sure you layer it and mix this in, right? So I'm adding in some more motherfucking ground beef and tomato mixture to the top of my cheese. And after that, I'm also going to add in a couple more lasagna motherfucking noodles. But be sure to spread out this mixture evenly because you don't want it to bake that way, right? It will bake really inconsistent. You don't want it to be uneven, chase cheese on one side and putting... The, the motherfucking ground beef on the other side. You know, you want to mix it in. That's the flavor. That's the lasagna of it all. The mixture and the combination of it, right? So with that being said, layer it all up pretty evenly. You know, some people like to do two layers. I like to take it up to three because I want to be able to have enough food to eat for the next couple of days, right? Now, it's super easy. It don't really take this long, but it's going to take you about at least about an hour and a half to prepare this meal. As far as, far as frying your motherfucking ground beef or ground turkey, right? So just be able to put some time to the side. All right, so as I got all my layers done and layered up, I'm gonna add some motherfucking four state cheddar cheese to the top of my motherfucking lasagna just to give it a different flavor balance, right? So check that out. Put it in the motherfucking oven for about 40 minutes for real though. Take that bad boy out. Oh yeah, check that out. That's exactly what I'm motherfucking talking about. Yeah, so I think it's ready to go. So, you know, we gotta make sure. I'm gonna go on here and take a little piece off. Take it on in here to the lady, see what she like about it. You know, she asked about this motherfucking lasagna, so hopefully I did the motherfucking thing, right? You know, the best way to tell if you did your job in the motherfucking crib is to see if somebody else like your motherfucking food. Hey, stay tuned in to the next episode of Cooking at the Motherfucking Crib. <clears throat> Make sure you like and subscribe.